Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Yes, this video shout out goes to Delighted Wildflower. Thank you for your continued support. And I wanted to dive into this ducktail off of the previous video, okay, about narcissistic abusers and your day off, okay? Because this is another component as to why they do that. Alright, yes. Okay, there's a reason why. Narcissistic abusers, they are all about parental control, right? Mmm. Okay, they're all about that. And they love bossing people around. Okay, so I'm going to share with you all. Alright, you know, it's like a narc will come at us and they'll be like, you need to help me with this. And so we had a fellow warrior who corrected them. Said, um, how about, can you please help me? There's a difference here, you all. They like to boss people around. They and the narc thought that both of those statements meant the same thing. No, okay? Uh-uh, because can you help me with something, please? That is the polite, kind, normal way to ask for help. Or, you know, we might just say, hey, I need your help for a second when you have a moment. Something like that, you know? Like, we're not bossing or anything like that. No, we're just letting, you know, each other know when we need help from one another. All right, we have different ways of doing it, but we don't boss, okay, because you need to help me with this. That is a bossy type statement, okay? Narcs are very boss, bossy, okay? That's one thing that we have also learned, mm-hmm, about narcissistic abusers. Is they like to be bossy, like to be telling people what to do, uh -huh. What to do, what to think, what to wear, what to eat, what to sleep. Those of you that have gone down the rabbit hole, you know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. So, and those of you who didn't have to, you also know what I'm talking about. All right? Like, tell you, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, when you're supposed to be doing it, all of that. That's bossy. That's narcissism, y'all. That's part of that is a mindset. Okay? Because that's what they are. It, because remember... They are all about trying to get control, right? That parental control, trying to control people. And one thing we come to realize, we're in God's reality and the spiritual awakening. We can't do that. You simply, you simply cannot. Uh-uh. No, we cannot be trying to control people. No. That's, that's narcissism. That's abuse. That's manipulation. Okay? We don't do that. That's not right. Okay? People, listen, to each his own. Chosen ones, we've always kind of had that mentality. Like, you know, because we're not, we're not out here judging. That's not our job. We ain't judging nobody. We, we're looking at the heart. Okay? All right, that's what we're looking at. That's what God's after, is the heart. Well, the enemy is after it too because he wants to turn it bitter. But, chosen one, don't do that. Never let, we never let any of this stuff turn our hearts bitter, mm -mm. but we do learn how to turn off our empathy when we spot a narc. That's right. Turn it off. And then we wait. We test the spirit by the spirit anytime we meet someone new before we we decide. Yes, we decide whether or not we're going to give them any access to our empathy, okay? That's where we got to take that time to do the assessment. What the narcs don't want us to do is to take that time to properly assess and to analyze and to think about something like this day they asked for help with something you know a, or ordered okay whatever however you want to put it a lot of times that's how it comes out sometimes they'll ask okay so that's the other thing so we want to take a moment think about it and figure out okay first of all does it align with what you're doing is it going to waste God's time? Because most of the time, what narcs do is to waste God's time, okay? Yeah, that's exactly what they're out here to do. It's just to waste God's time. And God's like, we ain't got no more time to waste. No, because God is a redeemer, okay? God's trying to redeem your time that all of these abusers stole. Remember, God restores everything that the enemy tried to steal, kill, and destroy, okay? Yeah, and he does it. Okay, one thing at a time. Hey, you all remember that. One thing at a time. Okay, but God is not bossing us around. Because God gives us a choice, you know, that free will to choose. Okay, remember in Joshua, okay, where it tells us that choose this day whom ye will serve. 
For as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? Choose ye this day. Which, right, narcissism or God? The Lord. Okay, the Godhead. Right? Got that choice. Okay, so when God awakened us to him from that abuse, got us out of that narcissistic matrix. That was our judgment day. Choose ye this day. Okay, and chosen one, we chose God. Pick up our cross, follow Jesus. Right, and so now we have to learn how to navigate, right? If we still have limited contact with the narcissistic abusers. And I'm going to tell y'all something. That when we stay all about our Heavenly Father's business, and, it, and, and for whatever reason, you know, something, you know, how God switches things up a little bit. And so our schedule, okay, just to help y'all put this in perspective, our schedule for one of the shows got moved, right? And so it happened to fall on a day that some other things were going down or what have you. And so... Yeah, the narc gets agitated because I was like, I'm not going to be here. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to be here during that time. I said, well, get agitated about it. Oh, well, it's too bad. All right? We got we to gotta stay on schedule, okay? And we got to stay all about our Heavenly Father's business. That's what I'm going to try to tell y'all is that these narcs don't understand what that means. They really don't because, after all, you got to have the Godhead and, you know, and, and without that and then obeying the Word of God, obeying God. All right, remember, narcs are disobedient to God. And so, remember, narcissistic abuse, narcissism starts with disobedience. I cannot stress the importance of that enough. And that's why the enemy will always try to trip us up, to disobey God. We're not going to do that. And No, no more. Okay, because we were sometimes in darkness. Okay, but now we are walking as children of light. Okay, so... We had to learn, all right, okay, for ourselves as well. What were, we, what were we disobeying God with, okay? And we find out that quite a bit. <laughs> so we're like, oh, we got to knock that off. We got to knock that off. That's all part of the inner work, okay? We got to knock that off. And then change that thinking, right? We change that thinking. Let God do the renewing of the mind. That's what it's all about. Spiritual awakening and repentance, y'all remember, goes hand in hand. All right, seriously, mm-hmm, yep, you'll find that out the more you read scripture for those who haven't, you know, gotten there yet, all right, keep going, because I'm here to remind you that the book of Revelation is all about that spiritual awakening and the repentance, I kid you not, oh yeah, big time, okay, and it's a wonderful thing because I did not start to notice that until... After I had already made the connection. I thought that was really cool. I was like, yeah, because it's true. The spiritual awakening and repentance, that goes hand in hand. It's like God uploaded that already. And so when I finally got to the book of Revelation for like, oh, I don't know, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. <laughs> okay. Start to see that. And I was like, okay, now I know where that came from. Okay? I knew it came from God. But now I understand. So I was like, okay, that's what I want y'all to remember, that no matter what scripture we cite up in here, that we encourage everybody to please go pick it up, let the Holy Spirit interpret it for you, okay? Seriously, that that's so important, because it's also part of helping you build that close and personal relationship with the Godhead that we need to have, all right, so that he can reveal these things, all right? And then we realize, you know, because we, we don't, we never like, chosen ones have never liked bossy okay we have never liked that that bossy and that pushy you know bossy stuff we've never liked that now we understand why because you know it's not that we're rebellious or anything like that to, not to god we are obeying god now 100 percent okay but the narcissistic abusers they don't understand that they like to boss people around they think that that's normal okay listen Yes, in the workplace, it's normal to have, okay, the, this is a, a, what is it, a procedure, and you're teaching somebody how to do whatever that is, that task, what have you, but we don't need to be bossy with it, okay? So for anybody who, and I'm here to tell you, many of us, we, we knew that, how to explain and teach without being bossy, because we don't like bossy. It never sat right on our spirit, and we now know why, okay? Because it's like, hold up a second. Whatever they were trying to be bossy about, it, it was always harsh, okay? It's very harsh. That's one of the reasons. 
It never sat right on our spirit. It would always come as being forceful and harsh. And we realize that God is not forceful or harsh. No, God is gentle and mercy, graceful. I remember Jesus full of grace, right? Very graceful. And so we understand better that that's why it never sat right with us, okay? And it's like, hold up a second, because it perked our spiritual ears up, but we didn't, couldn't articulate why that never sat right with us. Whenever one of these out here tried to be bossy or boss us around. Like, you know there's a difference between guiding and directing and bossing. There's a huge difference. Well, we got to have that discernment again. Huge difference between that. But the narcissistic abuser is because they are all about having that control. And once they let the position or status or whatever it is go to their head, that's what happens. They get bossy. Right? They like to tell other people what to do when we're to be doing what God tells us to do. There you go. So, a reminder tip for whoever needs this, okay? Because as God starts to bring people across your path... To help you get where he needs you to be. Alright. Along with that discernment. If they come at us. Alright. And we have our messages. Our you know, work. Whatever it is. That God called us to do. Alright. And we are letting the Holy Spirit take the lead. Okay. And somebody comes at us. And offers us an opportunity. But they want us to change something. Or to uh, you know. All of a sudden, you do it a different, a, their way. Or they want us to talk about this, or to, about that, or about this. Mm -mm, that's not from God. Okay? That's not from God. Because I speak freely from the heart, the Holy Spirit leading the way. And so that's what we come to realize. And so watch out for that. Okay? Because any entity that comes at us. Now, yes, we will learn some new skills. We'll go through probably some training and some additional whatever it is, okay? Because we have to learn the techniques, all right? But they're not, they're not going to be wanting to tell us what to say, okay? Because we already know pretty much what we're doing, and we already know we're going to let the Holy Spirit take the lead, okay? So we, we've got our bullet points. We've got our notes. But then it's just whatever the Holy Spirit, wherever the Holy Spirit takes us. You know, so that's why I want to remind y'all, if I ever touch on a point and I did not get back to it and you would like some clarification, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Because that's what we do now. It's like, we're like, okay, after we went through that experimentation phase to find, you know, you got to find what works for you. you got to find your groove, okay? you got to find your groove. And so once you do that, okay, and then it's like, okay. And so now it's like, you know, kind of being more, because it, listen, you all, there is a huge demand, obviously, for authenticity. A lot more people that are waking up, okay? And, and, and listen, I, there's a difference, okay, between, you know, woke and wake, okay? There's a big, 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 big difference, okay? But God is awakening, okay, more of his chosen ones every single day, all right? And so we learn this, and we're like, okay. So that's why another reason why we got to keep on keeping on so that God helps us get in position, okay, for when he's going to bring them to us. Okay, that's right. All right, we got. Yep, got. That's another reason why we got to develop that godlike patience. All right, but we don't need. We don't need to be bossy. Okay, because a lot of time with that bossy, it's just part of the part of guilt tripping and the pushy. Okay, so we don't need to be pushy. You know, it reminds me of what a, a fellow team member pointed out, and it's really true. If the marketing can be beautiful. When done, peacefully, okay, peacefully, and and naturally, and not pushy or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Or guilt tripping. You know, there's a lot of that out there. You all discernment, okay. If anything's trying to guilt trip you into, you know, taking a course or what have you, then you want to stop and think, okay. 
So it's like for hours, okay, for our course, we just put it out there. Let y'all know it there for when you're ready and, and if you want, if you're interested. That's it, okay? The same thing with everything else, you know? And so for those who prefer the audiobook format, we just let y'all know about it. So we find that on the website as well for Real Events of Narcissistic Abuse and the audiobook for the first one where I talk about how narcissism is the work of the devil. We've got audiobooks only on the website. For those two books right now, okay? And those are available uh, to download on up to three devices. Okay, everybody? So, just to give y'all the awareness. And the, those links, okay? The links are always in the video description below for those who don't know that yet. All right? And those who need a reminder. As always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you, keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.